Right, so I'm going to give you a quick tutorial about how to attach a rig to a Dacron connector. It's something that I see a lot of people getting uh, sort of problems with, struggling with, and as I say, it's one of those things that if you've not really seen it or how it's done, it can be a bit sort of bewildering to try and get your head around it to start with, especially if you've come from a background of using like standard Stonefoe connectors and things like that. But it's dead simple. All we do is take the rig off the winder, and I'll show you what's in the end of the rig. So the thicker the main line, main line that you use, the easier it's going to be to, uh, to attach it to the Dacron. What I tend to do is make a nice long loop about, as you can see, sort of three inches in length, like so, in the end of the main line. And then all I do is use a little sort of census loop tyre, um, nice little product, stead handy, tie a little loop in the end of it, and that just helps you remove the actual um, rig from the Dacron at the end of the session. The reason why I tie a nice long loop is twofold. Firstly, it creates an even stiffer boom of line away from the Dacron, so just reducing tangles even further. And secondly, it makes life a lot easier to separate the line as well. I'll try and show in a second. To pass the second loop of line through that you have to create with the main line below the loop. So it allows you to basically, the way that I do it, you can get, you get two things in the loop rather than having to fiddle around with a small loop. And then basically open the loop up and pull a section of the line beneath the loop through that one that's just been created. And what you'll end up with is that. As you can see, the loop's there, and there's a length of line that's beneath the actual loop, that, the long loop, that you've pulled back through it. Again, if you've not caught it there, I'll quickly run through it again. If you open the loop up like so, see if I can get hold of it, it's a bit fiddly in the wind. put a couple of fingers through it like so, just open it up and grab some line beneath it, pull that through, and again, as you can see, it forms that loop. Now, if you pull it down, just lost it for a second there. If you pull it through like that, that's what you're looking for. And then it's just a case of threading the end of the Dacron through that larger loop there. And as you can see, I'll pull it nice and slow so you can see how it forms. And that's what you're looking for it to do is the, the loop tightens back against the Dacron and pull it down tight to the end of the Dacron where the knot is. Pull it nice and tight so it beds in, and that's your rig fixed to the end. All it is a case of at the end of the session is using that small loop that you've tied in the end of the, the larger loop. Just pull that, and the rig comes straight off. There's no need to worry about that happening unless you're margin fishing and that little loop gets snagged in a reed. But apart from that, there's nothing to worry about, and it's one of the most secure connections you can use. And like I say, in winter, it's an absolute godsend when you're using lighter rigs, lighter main lines rather than having to sort of try and prise a, a stiff plastic connector apart. Just using a Dacron like that can save you a lot of time. And as I say, it's my go-to for margin fishing, shallow fishing, and I use them on all of my top kits these days. So there you go. How to attach a rig to a Dacron. Dead simple, just a bit of practice, and it's dead easy to get in the knack of it.